Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Richard. This is the Everything Channel. Now, before we get into anything, please give your boy the big dog thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to hit that beautiful bell icon for your boy, meaning me. Now, today, we already unboxed this laptop, but today, I, I know, I was supposed to wait a couple days, really dive into it. But there's some features on here that you would normally see on a high end. I'm talking about $900,000, $2,000, all the way up to $5,000 laptops. But it is actually on a two dollars to $300 laptop. Can you believe that? Can you? Now... We, I'm, I'm now the first thing I want to say is I'm kind of upset because when I went on YouTube to do the to like see if anybody reviewed this, talk about it, nobody, nobody. It's been like three people, but they did like a video of like the like the I'm trying to think of it, but the, the thing is, it wasn't an actual person talking about it, so I'm the first one to actually talk about and show this laptop. Now, this one is the L410 uh, version. You know what I'm saying? This is not the E version. This is the L410 version. Um, and I will get the actual whole information in a minute. But let's go ahead, switch over, and let me show you why this is a laptop you definitely need to get. Now, before we switch over, I will say this. This is a laptop for students. That's going to school, going to college, even high school for everyday business people that's sitting up here just looking for an ideal cheap laptop that still got that bang for its buck, but you ain't paying that bang for its buck money. You know what I'm saying? And the one thing I will say, the one thing that Asus has done on this laptop that you really will see on a high-end laptop, they brought some features that... Is actually from their high-end laptops, and they put it on this cheap one right here. Now, I will say this. Before we switch over, this is a Intel Celeron. Yes, it is. Yes, I know. But it's not the D. I don't know if this is a regular one because I'm not really into the chips. But I will say this. You take off the Windows S version, you're going to be in there. You I know they're trying to compete with a Chromebook, but their Windows S version to me is, is just not where it's at. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Windows, but your boy got to be honest. But let's switch over. Let's get into it. And let me show you the reason why this is what it's supposed to be. Now, let's turn on the light first and foremost. As you see, it got the keys right here. Now, I know. They got keys up here, too, with the numbers. I get it. I understand it. But, this is the big but. Sometimes you might be, you know, filling out a form, using your direct pad and everything, and then they come to, oh, put your date of birth in, put your SSN number in, or, or your address. All you got to do, bam, tap the button one time, and you're able to punch in all that information Tap it one more time, and you're back to moving around. I'm telling you, man, it's that easy, that simple. Now, I'm going to let y'all know this now. I don't know if this is glass. It feels like it could be potential glass, but don't quote me. Don't sit up, oh, it is glass. Let me get it, but I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So don't, don't quote your boy. Now, let's go up here. Let's start from the beginning. First up at the top, you got your pause when it comes to the music volume. You got your down volume. You got your up volume. Next up at the top, you actually, let me, let me hit the light for y'all. <laughs> you actually got the dim for the brightness of the laptop, and you got your brightness for the laptop. Now, this button right here is a crucial button right here. I love this button. Let's just say you got little kids roaming around the house. You're doing a project for school. Or you're doing a project for anything, whatever it could be. And let's just say, you know, you got those kids that like to touch the laptop, you know, especially the directional pad because it moves and look cool. Well, tap that button and the touch pad is disabled. You can't move it. Look at that. You see that? Look, can't move it. Look at my hand. Can't move it. 
can't let me turn the light out <laughs> right quick <sir. laughs> you can't move it you can't do nothing now check me out again go ahead it's back on now look the best feature ever now we're going to skip the other. Now we're going to get to this. These two right here. This is for to pause. Basically, if you have this hooked up to your TV and whatever you're watching, you want to watch it from your laptop to your TV. Well, you hit this button and it will basically lock and black in the screen. So it'll only show on the TV and you won't see it on the laptop. Now, this one is to be able to switch through. Like you watching on uh, your TV, the computer, I mean, not computer, laptop, or, you know, other features that they have. Like, I'm going to click on it right now, and that's what pops up on it. PC only screen, duplicate, extended, second screen only. So, we're just going to go ahead and click out of that. Now, the next thing right here is a feature that every laptop company should have on their laptops the biggest thing that i've noticed when it comes to laptops is you got people that likes to hack into people's laptops you got people out here that especially like to uh you know tap in to their camera you could be doing homework not know that the camera light is on and they're watching you through the camera now check this out all i got to do hit it bam camera is on now i'm able to use it you hit it again bam camera is off and no one can see it no one can get into it i click on it right now and you won't be able to use it straight up it's a beautiful feature now the next thing right here this is if you want to you tap this right here and you're able to like basically pull down and scan whatever it is you want uh, and stuff like that. You, everybody should know about that. Now, this button right here, you tap this button and it brings up this. Let's take that out. And all of this is basically your Asus uh, information. That's why it's called my Asus. It's all your information, everything in here. I'm just going to pull it up right quick. Just let y'all see a little bit of it. You know what I'm saying? It's taking too long, and, and but here you go. Now, this is what it all shows on here. It shows your system info. Okay, now we see it got an update on here, but we'll get to that later. You know what I'm saying? Well, we'll just click out of it. Okay, we'll update. <laughs> but we'll go ahead, pull that back down while it's update. But that's what that button it's strictly for to know what's going on with your uh, laptop. Now, of course, you got the regular, you got your, let me turn the light back on. You got your print, your insert, your delete, and your on and off button. Now, the major one that I want to show you that you do not see on a $299 laptop is this right here. They actually give you, look at that, backlight keys. Have you ever seen backlight keys on a $299 laptop? Now, I know it looks like they're blinking, but they're actually not. That's just the phone that's making it. That's the camera on the phone that's making it look like that. Now, this is brightening it up. So if it's, you know, nighttime and you're sitting up here and you're doing something important and you, you know, you're tired and you're like, man, I can't see the keys. Now, it may not look like it, but these are lit up so at nighttime you will be able to see that they're lit up and everything so trust me even the enter uh, bar right here is definitely lit up you can see from the side you know what i'm saying but like i said you do not see that on a 300 dollar or 299 dollar laptop like i said man this laptop is primo. Even though it has that Intel Celeron uh, chip in it, does not mean it's not a bad boy. Now, when you take it, I will let y'all know this. We're going to uh, go ahead and update it, and we're going to end it right here before we, I'm going to talk about it now. Just because it has Celeron on here, and it do have the new 
Windows uh, S mode on there. You can't take that off. Now, when you take that S mode off, I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to freeze up every uh, laptop that I've had that have that Windows S mode. It's basically like Windows Chrome. It's basically like a protective thing where you don't need, you know, no type of, you know, security. You don't have to buy anything to secure your laptop. It's automatically secured with that Windows S. And don't get me wrong, it's a good thing, but it, it is definitely one of those hassles, just like Chromebook, when you want to download like apps or anything. Like I love, you know, my Windows Chrome. I mean, I want Google Chrome. I love Google Chrome, but with Windows S, you cannot use it. You can't download it, nothing. So of course I had to take off that that Windows S and I mean, I, if you love it, hey, that's on you. But me, I do not like it. It's not for me. And that's just something that I would never use. Uh, as you see down here, it, it is like weight. It does lay flat 480. And it do got the number pad. And it has the Sonic Master system on this bad boy. Now, let's close it right quick, and if you are interested into this laptop that I have right here, this, I'm going to go ahead, flip back to me. This is the number. Uh, if you are looking for this, you want to get the L410MA-DBO2. Once again, that is the L410MA-DBO2. This is this actual laptop, and yes, I will let you know this sounds great also. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to talk to y'all about that real quick. I know it's like 12 minutes going on, but I mean, you, you can't get this out. You can't get this out of a normal $299 laptop that you would try to get out of a $14, $15 to $5,000 laptop. You know what I'm saying? This right here is a beautiful kept secret that you know i'm finally glad i got it i'm finally glad that i'm the first one to actually do a video about this so thank y'all so much this your boy richard and i'll let y'all later